it, Jimmy? Good, hi. Nice to meet you, Javier. Uh, thank you for having us here. We're here in the outside Las Vegas. We escaped the craziness of CES. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> that show is getting crazier and crazier and much busier because basically the automotive industry has taken over and like everybody's uh, bringing all the technology and it's the case with this car, right? Yes, it has. So you're gonna have a lot of new technology being uh, offered here, not only by other manufacturers, but by Nissan as well. But yeah, so, you know, the star right now is the Nissan Leaf, uh, the world's best-selling mass-produced EV. This is what, the second generation? What is second, right? Because the first one debuted in 2009? 2000... 2010, yeah, you're 10. right. So 2010 yeah. was the first year for the Nissan Leaf, in the end of December, and now we're in the second generation. So obviously a lot has changed from design, engineering, interior, all that. Mm -hmm. So tell us what's the, the, the new things that it's in, in this new, it, what is it, 2018, 19? I was confused with the yeah. years because <laughs> even though we're in January, we have seen already 2019 cars. Correct, so this is, yeah, this is now uh, a complete redesign for the Nissan Leaf. So from the, from the bottom up, we have a brand new battery, longer capacity. So now you're looking at 150 mile range. Wow, 150. Yeah, so that's a, a huge increase from it's almost 40 percent increase compared to the previous generation yeah. leaf also from the interior you're going to notice that it does remind you of a nissan car so it's a still distinctive looking vehicle but inside you'll feel it has aspects of our, of our best-selling vehicle nissan rogue maxima yeah and that's uh that's driven by the feedback i guess from the owners that they don't want to be seen in like a strange car <laughs> like like oh look at that like I don't know, like some people like that kind of look, like the different, and so much more like, it's just about a normal car that happens to be electric. Is that what it's, that what the, the idea behind all these uh, design changes? Well, Nissan listens to our uh, owners and uh, we wanted to create a vehicle that had a lot of that design language from the normal Nissan vehicle. So from, at, when you first look at the vehicle, the V-Motion front grille, it's gonna remind you that it is a Nissan vehicle. Yeah. And of course, inside you'll find all the amenities, all the technology you've come to expect from Nissan. So 150 miles of range, I guess also depending on the charging station that you charge, how the time change can be from like what, a few hours to eight hours to full charge or what is that? Yeah, so you're looking at home on a regular level two or 220, 240 charging station. You're looking about eight hours for a complete charge. And 240 is the one for people who just want to identify, like the one you use on the dryer. Yes, sir. Correct. On the range, an electric range, Correct. right? What about the one that is just like the regular where you charge your cell phone? So the, that one you're looking at approximately 16 hours for a complete charge. And that's more meant for emergency situations. Maybe yeah. you're at a friend's house and you want to top off your battery. Uh, one of the huge uh, updates that Nissan has made to make your life just a little bit easier is that our, our actual charger functions as a level one and level two. Oh, okay. So the one that comes with the car, let's say you're at your friend's house and he has uh, a 220, you can plug into his 220 without having the hardwired oh, okay. station anymore. So for a lot of people who are concerned about, I live in a condo, I live in a place where I can't have a hardwired one, we made it a lot easier for folks. And also, like as, uh, as, as is happening with technology of the car, the infrastructure around electric cars is uh, improving greatly, right? Yes, sir, yeah, the, the infrastructure has greatly improved. Um, what's nice about the Nissan system is that your GPS is actually equipped with the ability to look for the charging stations. Okay. So it takes away a lot of the guesswork for consumers. Plug in your nearest charging station and you'll have a whole list of them around you. Does uh, Nissan uh, offers any kind of incentives? I know there are companies that uh, give you the, like the car, like I think ChargePoint is one of mm -hmm. them. And like, is there any, any kind of uh, packages? Um, yeah. Yeah, Nissan definitely uh, thought about everything. So we have what's called uh, for two years free charge to charge. Okay. So you actually get a card and then you're able to charge in virtually every public infrastructure for free, courtesy of Nissan. Oh, really? What are public infrastructures? That's like what? Like, uh... Whether it be ChargePoint and some of the other oh, various okay. manufacturers that have charge uh, stations, Nissan has given you the ability to just find those charging stations and charge right up. Another big thing about this car is that it has the new ProPilot Assist technology. Tell, tell us about it, please. Um, so yeah, ProPilot Assist is something that's brand new to America. First debuted the Nissan Rogue. Yeah. And now with this, with this particular one, um, the whole idea is that it takes away a lot of the, the, the stress and fatigue from driving. So now when you're on the highway, you engage ProPilot Assist just like you would engage cruise control. Mm -hmm. It follows the lane markers on the highway and it helps you keep centered in the lane. As long as your hand's on the steering wheel, it'll make all the micro adjustments for you. So, it makes driving enjoyable. So, to be clear, this is not a, 
A ton of us driving. No, but no. it's getting there. Yes, sir. We're getting there. This is, this is Nissan's level one for use on a single lane highway. Over the years, you'll see different uh, features come out. They'll kind of yeah. advance it. But it really helps you in terms of uh, one, relaxing, because you have like the assurance that the car is going to control some aspects of the, the driving experience. And also, it really, I mean, in theory, that's going to avoid some accidents. Yes, sir. And I mean, that just goes in line with Nissan's message of not only zero emissions, but zero fatalities as well. So we want to ensure that our drivers not only enjoy their drive, but remain safe as well. Okay, so you eliminated like range anxiety problems, like safety problems. Now let's talk about the price. That's the thing that everybody talks everybody about. Everybody talks about price. Yeah. So uh, because there's like still the, the the idea. I'm sorry for interruption, but there's the idea of some people that electric cars are going to be much more expensive than gas cars and this and that. So how how what's the pricing for this car? So guess what? Pricing is actually more affordable than it was previously. Starting price is going to be under thirty thousand dollars. Okay. And then fully loaded, you're looking around the mid thirty. So SL is around 36,000 and that's before any government incentives. So this one that we're driving is the top of the line? Yes sir. With everything? This has everything. it's about 37? Correct. So and that's before the incentive you said so that's 7,500 right? So yeah so there's potentially uh, up to 7,500. Depends where you live, where you work, I don't know. Yes sir, yeah right? there's other incentives as well. Well well this was a very short uh, drive here with the 2018 Nissan Leaf but uh, I mean Electric cars are here and they're not going to anywhere. I mean, that's the future, right? Yes, sir. It is the future. And again, the little things that make just your life a little bit easier. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Jimmy. Welcome, Javier. A pleasure. Okay. We're going to back now back to crazy Vegas. <laughs>